Hi. Good morning. This is right now. We're here right now. We are. You are... The wife. Rachel. <laughs> this is Rachel Goulet. Hi. I'm not Brian. I haven't done a right now with you... In a while. Since like number three. Since we raided three. his pen cabinet. Oh no, we did that one too. That's yes. right. That was fun. Brian is back in town, but he is resting up from all the networking. I'm so glad he's doing that. Yes. Because he, he's not done that in the past. He Yesterday is, he's like, I'm fine. I'll be, I'll be great. And this morning he's, he's dead. <laughs> he's not dead. He's like <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> yes. He'll be in in a couple hours. Awesome. So yes, we are going to talk about the newest Conklin and Monteverde pens that we just launched a couple days ago. Of which there are plenty. There are a lot. Some are brand new to the market. Some are new to us. Well, let's get out. Let's get out the ones that are totally brand new, and then we can talk about the newer variations because I want to talk about well those aren't those have been out for like a year but they're new to us they're new to us but the Monteverde new Essenza model. so we've got two of these bad boys um sunny skies sunny skies and not stormy skies nope storm clouds storm clouds I know I, I always want to me too yeah stormy skies sunny skies sunny clouds stormy skies we're not gonna this know this has now. some nice chatoyance some nice like pearlescence some depth to it and it's faceted. That is the best thing about these pens. It's very rare to see a faceted pen at this price. Right. Which is what? Under $100? Somewhere yes. around there? I was like, uh, you're, you're quizzing me now. No, no, no. That's I know. 85 lists. We sell for 68 There you go. See, I never know prices. I'm so bad at that. My team will tell you. I can tell you prices, but I can't tell you how things write or like how to take it apart. Or well, we're together. a great team, yes. man. Both of these are going to have a little bit of variation in the patterns. Mm, so um, I've seen some of these that have more or less predominantly gray looks to them and then some that are totally covered so it will vary so you got to be ready for that same with the orange versus the blue on this mm -hmm. one so they're unique you're going to get what you're going to get but they're all going to be just delightful unique special snowflakes like you they post um they're all everything we're talking about here is cartridge converter <laughs> and they all come with a bock nib which is a gulay exclusive heck yeah oh, making a sales pitch here well they're lovely pens it has and a nice, the, the screw cap, it, it's nice. Right, it's and it's got a, got a nice good heft pleasure. to it as well. And like she said, the faceted nature, you just don't see that very often. I mean, as far as faceted pens go, what, we've got the Van Gogh and then yep. uh, the uh, Nozak. Yes. There's not a lot of them. And would they're Twisby, all more expensive than this one. Would like the Twisby count, like the 580, kind of? Kind of, yeah. Kinda. I mean, it's not it's not round, so yeah, I guess that would be faceted. It's less, um, uh, uh, what are you, uh, symmetrically faceted. And yes. more, there's there are many kind of offset cuts to kind of have a, so it gives you that diamond look. So there's the Ascenza. And now we're getting more into kind of the things that, uh, yeah, what, this, this is, this is, let's go with the Prima next. So Same price. Same exact price? Same exact price. How about price? that? I know. So there you go. You get to choose which one is your proverbial cup of tea. Now, all of the Primas have silver trim and nib, except the one Drew happened to pick up. Which has <laughs> black. Um, there are five colors. We carried, if you remember, the Prima years ago. We did have the Prima. Three of these colors we had back then. It got discontinued. They brought it back, so we brought it back because we heard it's done well or people wanted it. I mean, it's a great something. pen. It's it's a it's a great <laughs> gift pen, too, because there are colors. a lot of colors within the line, and that's always something really exciting. If you don't know what to get for someone, but you know they love green, boom, there you go. You know they love blue, boom, there you go. Pink, there you go. Like now... The green, I like the green more than I thought I would. When I saw the lines, I liked it a lot because you you do see in acrylic the swirls a mm -hmm. lot. That's a pretty common thing for acrylic. People love it, but yeah. that just, I don't know, it's more unique. It has some depth too. Mm -hmm. Like some of, some of the stripes are like, ooh. And it's shades of green. It's not all not the same green. Yes. You've got lights and darks and olives in there. You got turquoise swirl, tiger eye swirl, purple swirl, and orange. Yep. This is green. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> when I opened this, I thought it was going to be that one. I'm like, oh my gosh, is this the wrong pen? But no, this They're one is called orange. That one is called enough. tiger eye. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, the swirl on the stripe and then the different color trim. So yeah, it was like two orange. That's kind of weird, but you know. But if you don't like orange, then. Yeah. I think this would be a great Halloween pen. That's true. So get ready. If you're. <laughs> if you're planning for your Halloween like, writing. We haven't gotten a Valentine's Day yet. <laughs> oh, All right, which one next? Rodeo um, Drive? Yeah, why not? <clears throat> so three new colors of the Monteverde Rodeo Drive. Um, so we well, have. very continental of you. I. <laughs> this is very American too. Monteverde. <laughs> um, we have Polaris, which is like the purple blue, right. cool looking one. So these are new. Um, they are iridescent in a way. Right, especially um, that white one, which is called. Uh, 
iridescent. It's iridescent, yes. It's literally called iridescent. And it's hard to capture in some of our pictures, but it does have a pink sheen to it. So it's white, but then you turn it, you're like, oh, pink. Yeah, it does have a sheen to it, which is really cool. All of them do. And, they're, and I like these because the previous uh, incarnations of the Rodeo Drive, they've had that silver cap. Yes. And it just really broke it up for me. So these... Yeah. I, I find more attractive. It's still two different textures, so if you're weird about that, but at least it's the same color. And I like the little details, like the cap, like they match the color. and just, Oh, right, and the finial, yeah. Yeah. That I, is super I just, cool. I appreciate things like that. And unlike the, um, uh, now we have carried oh, some oh, of Oh, we these. need to talk about how they, the posting. The posting's because difficult. Some of the some of them, you got to really jam it on there first. This one's post. on. This one's on just fine. Is that one having a hard time? There we go. That one's having a hard time. <laughs> But really, you can cram them on there and they'll do. And honestly, you're not going to be riding that violent anyway. So as long as you're not... Uh, yeah, don't, don't like post it and then grab the cap and jiggle yeah, it. Yeah, don't I wouldn't write with... That. Don't, don't post it if you are a jackhammer technician. Uh, just, you know, unpost it if that's your job. And you're having to be riding. And honestly, don't use fountain pens if you're operating a jackhammer. I think these are also the same price point. Whoa! They're all, they're all right in there. So many options. And didn't we have some of these that did not have the Bach nib uh, Yes, recently? We, we did a closeout deal okay. before the holidays. Those so, were the old, like, the two-tone thing. Okay, so these are not going to have that same nib. Those had the Monteverde nibs. These are going to have the Bach nibs, same as all of the other Conklin and Monteverde offerings that we have in stock right now. So check those out. And Polaris. So Polaris is a regular. We still have that too. one. Yeah. Yep. And it's not a limited. It's a regular. So Nice. And that one is lovely. So now we get to the Conklin Empire. So we three new colors. Oh, and I'm, I forgot to mention for the Rodeo Drive and for these, these are a Goulet exclusive launch, meaning for the next month, you'll only be able to find them through us. Insert sales pitch here, which I just did. Yes. Um, three new colors. Um, we have feelings about the names. <laughs> we love them. Um, so this is Amber. Which is a perfect name. And amber is translucent, which I think is pretty cool. You can see through it. You can see the converter in there. It's filled with uh, suspended mosquitoes. So if you would like to recreate your own dinosaurs, <laughs> open up a park. I was like, I'm pretty um, sure they didn't use It's totally safe. Do that. Nothing can go wrong. I'm trying Trust to remember me. if this is the one. So we went to Italy and we saw some of these. I, I want to say it was this material. I need to confirm. They used corn husks or corn in the process of making the acrylic. Huh. Like it's, it's bits, and they like they had to source it out from a particular farm and get consistent stock each time so that the color wouldn't shift. There you go, I filled with Italian like corn. This one, and now I need to confirm because I'm saying this on video that everyone will see. How are they going to check? I I don't know. No, nah. it's corn, <laughs> Italian corn in there. When Buy Brian one. gets in, he'll uh, we'll put it in the comments if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, this, which we originally called multicolor, um, is Harlequin. So this I actually is like that. That's red, an improvement. Red, yellow, and it's oh, it's magnetic. I'm like trying to turn it. I should know. We're these learning. Things. We're learning. Um, red, yellow, and blue, and each one is very different. There's a lot of swirls going on, but yeah, magnetic cap. I forgot to talk about that. Which so is it neat. has a magnetic. That <laughs> that I think that uh, Harlequin is a really good name for that. It does have a kind of New Orleans feel to it. And this has, you know, kind of some fluting. It's not faceted, but definitely some, uh, like, flutes going on. Right, which, again, it's just not common to see on pens in the uh, kind, of, kind of less than $300 price range. Yes, and this um, has a new lower price from the first Empires that came out. The original Empire was $185, down to one, and we sold for $148. That is cool. This, they lowered the list to $145, so we sell for $116. Nice. Nice. And I think that the uh, they're trying to go for a uh, kind of a Chrysler Building type look with the mm. uh, with the uh, I, I can't, again they're not facets I guess they're kind of flutes flutes. And then this one, <laughs> we have feelings about the name. Um, originally we called it black and white. We're like, oh, it looks like cookies and cream. It's named oatmeal. What does your oatmeal look like? Does it look like that? I don't. I mean, I guess if you smeared really dark blueberries. <laughs> Um, let us know in the comments what you think about this. Um, <laughs> it's not, it's a, it's a good looking texture. I really do like it and the pattern. I like much more of a cookies and cream in our opinion. Um, it's not quite a white and black. It's like a taupe with black. Yeah. Is it black or is it really dark? I thought it was black. Yeah, it's, it's, black it's to me. pretty black. Yeah. Um, and each of them have a little red accent, which is hand painted. We can call it cookies and These cream. These are made in Italy, by the way. Um, so that's part of the higher price point is they're made in Italy. We do get that question. Yes. So these 
are all of the And that's a lot of stuff. So Just what's new as of last week. If you subscribe to our newsletter, you probably saw these. And if you don't subscribe to the newsletter, please do so you, you can see cool things like these. Because honestly, every now and then the stars align or just things happen and all of a sudden we end up having a crazy launch week like yes. we did last week. And sometimes we 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 look at a month, we're like, oh yeah, no, this is gonna be a slow month, and then just all of a sudden, boom, boom, here it is. But seriously, keep up with us on social. Check out our newsletter. Yeah, That's the next how you week keep or up two, we have a lot coming in. Until it gets tomorrow, um, is the Twisby 580 All Emerald That's launch. Tomorrow? It is. I knew that. At 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, that's when we decided to do it. Cool. So. Mark your calendars if you want to get the 580 All Emerald, like I will in Broad, then you should That doesn't either. sound like you at all. No, I don't you, have a collection. This is going to be your first one, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally. Mm -hmm. I have all but one, but Brian has it, so it's Can't good. stop now. It's orange and lava. They're basically the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I have an eco collection too now. She does. Have we gone over that? Uh, the eco collection? Like, you're, you're just Twisby. I don't have overall. all of them. I'm being selective. Like the you have a lot of them. I know. Anyway, maybe one day we'll <laughs> maybe one day we'll delve into Rachel's. That'll be a topic when we don't have new stuff to talk about. Oh, because that'll happen. Anyway. Also, let us know what topics you'd like to see in a right now. Yeah. Because we just kind of wing it. But we're here for you. We are. <laughs> you matter. You count. Let us know. All the opinions are good, and Colin just loves them. He eats them up beef and cheddars from Arby's. Thank you. Have a great day. And does Colin like beef and cheddars? We'll have to ask him. <laughs> right on. Right on. <laughs>